Ever wonder if it's different to eat in space than it is on Earth? Ever wonder why there aren't so many pictures of people eating bread in space? Well, if you've ever had any questions like this ever, then this week's Innovation Gateway Challenge is for you. Space Explorers, my name is Shaka Jaliwa, I work at Space Center Houston, and this week's Innovation Gateway Challenge is all about food in space. So you might be wondering, what's so difficult about eating in space? Well, firstly, there's no grocery store once you're up there, so you can't just run to the store and get what you need. But also, you have to consider the nutritional value of all the food, the caloric intake of all the astronauts, you have to do that stuff before they even get to space. So this week, there are two levels of challenges that you can participate in. One is a little easier and the other requires a little bit more work. For level one, you're going to gather all the food in your house that you think will make an excellent astronaut meal. You're going to put it on the plate, take a picture, and that picture will be your submission. For level two, you're going to be designing a menu of seven days, three meals a day, for a single astronaut on the International Space Station. Bonus, you get to pick the astronaut. If you'd like to learn more information about this challenge, please click on the link. It'll take you to our webpage where it'll give you some resources, it'll give you some videos, and it'll show you how to submit. Thank you for participating in this challenge. We hope you have a good time with it. We hope to get your interest in soon, and we hope you stay safe and have fun.